When I started with LogSeq, I was enamored with this idea of how to build a perfect Zettelkasten. And I'd just read how to take smart notes. I had watched a few videos online. I even made my own videos on how to build your own Zettelkasten. But the more I use LogSeq, the more I realized that you actually, for most people, don't actually need these perfect functioning Zettelkastens. And more and more, I've come to accept my system as what I call a messy caster, in the sense that I can just find what it is that I need as I need it and work with it. So in this video, I'm going to explore very quickly how I go about this in my own database. Now, I don't often share examples from my own database because there's a lot of personal and private information in there. But I was writing this article and as I was clicking through, I was like, oh, this might be a good example to show because there's not actually private information coming up. But it is very simple and it's not perfectly structured. But if you can get your head around just like using tags effectively, then this can be very powerful for you too. So this is how I do it. So this is the article that I started writing and I actually didn't go about it in the same way that I showed in the previous video where I first structured the answers, whatever. This was really for me. I was hosting a group of people talking about philosophy and I wanted to talk about this idea of life is not suffering. It's something that I've struggled with, this Buddhist notion. I have become attached to the idea that life is suffering and sometimes it just becomes unhelpful. So I wanted to bring this up for discussion and help us get around it. So I just did this as a voice note and then transcribed it using Tana. But now we're talking about LogSeq. So I have tagged this with suffering. And if I go, this is one of the beauties of just having a system of tags. So if I just say shift click and I open the suffering up here on the right, I can see here a bunch of different references to suffering. So I've got here a book, Tuesdays with Mori, and there I've got some passages that I could go through and find some quotes. Now this is still my old system. In my new approach, what I do is I use quotation marks like that to show where it's from someone else. That just helps me to differentiate what is mine and what is other people's. But then I could hypothetically read through these passages and then bring something in here. And that's really the idea. Let me go back or let me just actually minimize this one up here and carry on looking through suffering. And this idea of like just having these linked references in the right is really good because I can then say, okay, I'm automatically assuming that the prevalent conditions are causing everyone to suffer. And, there's, and I'm reading about this and I'm like, okay, cool. There's something about everything, everywhere, all at once. So let me just say shift click, open up everything, everywhere, all at once. And this is some notes that I took on the movie. Excuse my language, but uh, yeah. And, and this was a theme that resonated for me. And now hypothetically, I might want to reference this or bring this in. So I could then do it in a number of ways. I can just say control C, just, write, just drop it here and then control V. That brings in the block reference. If I have multiple, um, multiple blocks that I want to bring in, I might use control and then bring it in here and say control paste. And that and paste it as an embed so that I have those multiple blocks available. Now with this one, then what I can do is I can, uh, if I just right click on the right place, I can say replace with text. So now it's not referencing that original block and I can actually work with it in my writing over here. Okay, let me just delete this over here and show you some of the things that I've got in at the bottom here. There's a, a passage that I talked about, you know, someone that I knew died and left behind a three-year-old child. And this is, exactly related to what I'm talking about here, where it's, um, let me just correct that over here, where I'm talking about life is at some level, there will always be suffering, no matter how much you arm yourself, et cetera, et cetera. And the idea is that I can just spring around between different concepts. And as, a, as I was writing this, I thought, okay, someone actually mentioned a Dostoevsky quote the other day. So I'm just going to say control K, Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky, shift click, open that on the right, and there we go. This is what the person referenced. So there I have that quote that if I wanted to bring that up and or write about it, I could just write about it here in the main panel. So you can see that I'm just moving blocks of text around and then reordering my thoughts. Now, what I might want to do here 
is then start indenting it and put a bit of structure in. So then I say introduction, uh, da -da -da -da, introduction, and then shift tab this, and here, and then maybe this is my complication or some sort of structure that I want to put in. Great. And then I can collapse those, collapse those, and then start moving things around. And this is very powerful when you, you know, introduce this, this flexibility of moving your blocks around. And then I want to talk about like personal experience and then, oh, there we go, personal experience. And then I can you know, bring in this, this block over here. We'll just go collect this text, copy and paste. And now I don't have to have that text still referenced. I mean, it's great if I do, but I, you know, you need to decide what level of flexibility do you want. Do you want all of those links to be preserved throughout your database? Maybe, but oftentimes this idea of like structuring and retaining all the links just makes it a little bit impractical. So you need to think about it in a way that, that makes sense for you. I have also gone through this process. If I just go to my left sidebar here, um, let's actually just go scratch pads, transcendence maybe. And I started building out, you know, these ideas and, and, and writing about uh, these ideas loosely in this scratch pad. So this might be what you would call your maps of content where you start breaking things down, but it doesn't all have to be linked. As you can see, it's all just in outlines here. And I, I haven't been writing a lot, but I, I realized that I want to write some more. So this will be the process of then, you know, reshaping my thoughts, bringing things from one place into another. So this idea that you need to have this perfectly structured Zettelkasten and everything as an atomic note is not really valid. You need to have a system that works for you and that just enables you to write in a frictionless manner. So this is why I haven't done Zettelkasten type videos because Oftentimes, I think the, the effort is not really worthwhile. The point of this video is just encouraging you that you don't need to have the perfect structure. You can just start writing and start shaping these ideas with tags. And that's really where you get started. And then you can use your filters over here, you know, to find the different information that you want. And yeah, you don't have to worry so much about like, how will I find this if you just have a good system of tags. So trust yourself, start writing and see how things materialize. I don't have this perfect system where it's like fleeting notes and then research notes and literature notes. As you can see, if I just go to that book notes again, oh, let's go Tuesdays with Mori, Tuesdays with Mori. Um, there we go. I have all these passages here and then I could hypothetically write a passage or an observation here. And this would be acceptance. You know, and then I could write this observation on acceptance. The most important thing, most important thing is acceptance. And this could actually relate to the suffering aspect where I say, you know, suff we suffer because we don't accept hypothetically. And then if I wanted to bring in more things about acceptance, I would then just say shift click here. Let's see what comes up. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I can show that. And yeah, I could then bring in all of those aspects into my writing. So it's all about being able to click around and find what it is that is sparking for you. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you are baffled and it's like, how do you even get there? I think this comes with time. It's an intuitive level of understanding that you get by just using the program over and over again and knowing where to find information and how to retrieve it. If you're looking to get to that point a little bit quicker, then have a look at the course Log Seek Mastery. But by all means, you can figure this out just by getting into the process and working with your notes instead of trying to build the perfect system. There are good approaches to building good systems, but really, if you're not actually using your notes, then there's no point. But yeah, as I say, LogSeq Mastery is there for you if you know that you want to build a good structured system. But otherwise, start using your notes, start writing, and just embrace this flexibility of logs. Anyways, wishing you all the best of luck with your writing and whatever you're using LogSeq for.